You're watching Good Morning Tri-State at 5 on 9 on your side. And Good Morning Tri-State continues to celebrate back to school season here live at Monroe. Now this building was built in 2004, but the history of the school goes far beyond that. Right, the tradition in this community to this high school dates back more than a century. The history of Monroe High School dates back more than 100 years. From this small schoolhouse to the high school that once sat on the hill along Elm Street. Students have built this website documenting the school's history. It's part of a web design class here at the school. Their assignments poured through hundreds of files and documents about the district. They even have videotaped interviews with people behind the story. Everything from the marching band this is to the Hornet logo. The Monroe Hornet. Part of the district story was last summer. The old high school was finally torn down. So when you think about the thousands and thousands of students that have been in that building over the years being taught by hundreds of teachers uh, and the impact that they make on our country and the world, it, it's, it's, it is kind of mind-boggling. The building stood for more than 10 years after the current junior-senior high was built. High school. Who knows what the next chapter will bring, but it will certainly carry on the legacy of the community and the Hornet pride of Monroe. And what's great, Catherine, is the history of not only the school district but what this means to the community really is, is taught here in the school. It's part of a web design class. So the students kind of spearhead and learn about it themselves as they're going to school here. And not just that, but they have to pass by uh, all of these accomplishments in these trophy cases every day as they head into school, reminding them of all those who've come before them. Uh, we're going to have so much more here, including uh, a special musical number coming up. You don't want to miss this. That's coming up in just a few. But first, let's get a look at that forecast with meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark.